Oh, those are those are fantastic. Show the camera. Here, let's do one at a time. How do you guys see? Can I go first? Go first. 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 Go Hold on, mate. Thank you, Mommy and Dad. Why am I helping you open your present? Oh, my God. I'm just going to buy that. What is that? What is that? What is that? I was going to buy that for you. Who I think is getting Molly today? Who? Haley? So you guys can play together. Oh my god. Haley can be Molly. So you guys have best friends. Oh, that's cute. Something's up. Macy's something's up. Oh, Macy, you still have a book. Push him right. So that, that means that this has got to be. Yeah. <laughs> you might want to be a little more gentle than that. Sorry. I'll be yeah. a lot more gentle than that. <laughs> I can't get it to do it. Here, I'm going to use your hubbub. Oh, here, got it. I don't the wrong thing. Use it. Stickless. What is that? Take that whole pad, that whole thing comes up. No, no, the whole thing comes up. Whole, yeah, leave, leave all that together. No, 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 the box that you, the other, the box inside the box plate comes up. Lift the box up. Yeah. How about from the, do it from the lid. There you go. Help me up. Carefully. I'm trying. But I like it. Okay. Mommy put those on for you. <laughs> You want to show? You want to show? Oh, yeah, yeah. Hurry. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It's so cute. Actually, you can copy documents and print them off the printer. That's why I had that little thing. I'm going to have to go wireless here one of these days for the printer. It is January 29th, 2007. <laughs> Girls, Chloe, Chloe, Chloe. The girls have the day off of school. It's on Monday, so we thought we would go to the San Diego Zoo. We were in search of a Tasmanian devil, yesterday, but apparently he was moved. Yesterday we went ice skating, and yesterday we, and we missed it. We'll have to videotape it when we go to Mammoth. And there's Miss Lily. Just the four girls today. Grandma Sandra had to work. We were hoping she could come. And Daddy, but Daddy. And Daddy had to work, of course. And now we're on. We're on the Sky Tram. Living large. You have anything to say, Chloe? I'm scared. Get me out of here. <laughs> How about you, Miss Lily? This is awesome, but I'm scared. Yeah, pretty cool, huh? How about you, no, Miss? Don't I'm scared, really scared, absolutely scared. Get me on out. Oh, okay. <laughs> Goodbye. Do you want to get Ten out four. now? Oh! Ooh, lean that way. <laughs> get me out! I go back to that way. 
Uh, another sign pointing into monkey trails. That's an elevated walkway as you go through there. Now it kind of changes your perspective, so that's a lot of fun. Now straight ahead, all the way across the zoo, the children's zoo, that does close at 4.30. So you want to keep that in mind. Up here to our left, see Sky Fari going down? East side closes at 4.15. Don't have to worry about the reptile house. It's right off the front of the bus here. That's open right up until we close. So are the gift shops up here on either side of the exit. So check out a few things. Close. After the bus tour, you'll still have some time. Zoo grounds are open until 5 o'clock. Now, the Reptile House, home to the snakes, lizards, Komodo dragons on the far side. Back behind there in Reptile Mesa, great big Galapagos tortoises, gharials, kind of a crocodile type animal. I have some small reptile houses home to things like the poison dart frogs, tomato frogs, and other such small creatures back that way. Okay, a couple of quick safety rules here this afternoon. Keep your heads, arms, legs, all body parts, and everything else you want to take home with you inside the bus as we do get close to bushes, shrubs, and other vehicles from time to time. You're more than welcome to stand up as we look left or right and go by some of these exhibits. Make sure, though, that you're not wandering about the bus. Do not stand on a seat, but do hang on to a handrail. I've had to stop suddenly a couple of times, and I really hate to lose anybody overboard as an extra lion or tiger snack here today. And lastly, cell phones. Please turn them off for the duration of the tour. Out of respect to those around you, myself, and the fact that they also interfere with radio signals. So cell phones, walkie-talkies, anything like that. Thank you. All righty, all we're on our ride. The path starts up in the Monkey Trails area. It's a good way to get down here to the tiger exhibit. As you come down to the tigers, you wander past tapers, 10-foot-long python, web-footed fishing cats, and the like. This time of day, you never know when we're going to see a tiger in view. Just to the right of the tree there, you can see a bone lying out there. Bones are a regular part of the animal's diet as far as the large mammals go. That's right, bones provide special calcium and minerals that these animals will not get any other way because out in the wild, they're going to consume the entire carcass. The skin, the meat, the bones, everything. That's right, nothing goes to waste. In fact, a lot of these large mammals will feed off of a kill for two, three, or even a few more days than that. But usually it's about two or three days for them to consume an entire carcass. Nothing goes to waste. Whatever they don't eat, scavengers take care of. Just by visiting the zoo today, too, you actually help animals like the tigers, which there are very few of in the world, fewer than 10,000 tigers, because monies from the gift shops and restaurants go back into our animal conservation and breeding programs. Down on our right, a couple of hippos in the water. They've been out on the riverbank most of the day. Now they're down in the water. It's fun to watch them from down below. The glass panels there. Watch the hippos glide right along that bottom of the pool. They're very awkward looking when they're out on land, but they're very graceful underwater. As their name means river horse, it kind of looks like they're galloping along the river bottom. Up to the right of the palm tree, way back under the other trees, a gorgeous okabe or two back there. They are the closest living relative of the giraffe, folks. That's right. Yep, not related to the zebras, despite those black and white stripes. You remember those? Part of their huh? camouflage. You remember they blend those? into their surroundings quite nicely. Natives of the Aturi forests of Africa, which are so dense that nobody even really knew these animals existed prior to 1900 or so. Absolutely gorgeous, the okabe. Huh? We have a breeding herd she was talking of about those animals that look like zebras, but they're actually related the to the park. giraffe. The knowledge and information that we gain from having animals here in captive breeding programs and in other places around the world uh, benefits sure? the animals sure that are out in the wild because we so can improve their conditions and, and ensure that they have what they need to She's survive. There, so now in the center of Victoria Forest, some neat birds down here, great blue taracos and emerald starlings, that aviary off to our right. A couple other species in there as well. Down at the bottom of the trail, there's some Debrazis gwenids right over in the branches to our right. Debrazis gwenids, Alan Swamp uh, gwenids, and then some spot neck daughters down here as well. So lots of different types of animals hanging out in the Tory Forest. Now, if you haven't yet seen the pandas today, you want to get back down here to the Panda Research Station, which is up the canyon to our right, before 4.30. You can ride the express bus back down after the tour, or you can walk down to the pandas. I'll show you where that path is. That will get you down here quite easily after the tour. Right now, though, we're going to check out some birds, neat birds, living at the zoo. Up on the hills to the right, eagles and Andean condor, absolutely gorgeous birds of prey up there. Those large aviaries give them lots of room to fly about. Over on our left here is the African marsh area. It's home to spoonbills, cormorants, saddlebills, storks, lots of different types of birds hanging out down this way. Also, it's a lot of local birds. Notice all the easy egrets flying in these white birds roosting up in the treetops here. Egrets and some great blue herons as well. 
Any guesses why they might like to hang out at the zoo? The free food, yes. They're very, very smart indeed. Cormorants on the nest over here to our left. Also notice on our left, a sign for express stop number two. Yep, it's down here by the Mars. Very convenient for the pandas, the hippos, and the tigers. So you might want to remember that should you want to get to those pandas right after the bus tour. The express buses come by each one of the stops, about every 15 minutes of stops. Are the orange kangaroo signs posted around the zoo? The orange signs or the orange kangaroos on your map as well. The last express bus will leave stop one at Elephant Mesa at 4.30. Make its final loop around the zoo. The last pickup time is posted at the bottom of each one of the express signs. And your ticket for the express bus is the stamp that you got on your paper arm. If you look down over to our left, way down at the bottom of this exhibit is the yeah. western tufted deer, native of India, very sleek looking little deer. Don't normally see them until later in the afternoon, right around sunset. Like this, we had a little one born not too long ago, just lost its spot. So it's a good three, four months old, and it's a good half the size of the adult deer. Now, in addition to all of the animals living here at the zoo, we've got lots and lots of plants. Some of you probably noticed the wide variety of plants that we have. If you look over to the right, you're going to see some uh, French vanilla camellias, the white flowers over there. The red ones are uh, gardenias. And uh, I was coming by here one day, you could actually smell that vanilla smell hanging out in this area. It's an the gorgeous plant, so a lot of the plants are actually food for one species of animal or another. So over 6,000 species of plants here, and the Mediterranean-type climate in San Diego, we can grow a wide variety of plants. In fact, we actually help other zoos out by growing uh, what's called browse, fresh-cut plants, that we actually ship back to, for example, the Cincinnati Zoo for the little Sumatran rhino back there. That's a cooperative browse program we have here. Here on our left, one of our polar bears, hey, right up front, is. another one on the point, a little further back. And this one just kind of snoozing away here this afternoon, that's exactly why. But studies are underway to determine what the cause or causes might be that are impacting these bears so that we can make sure that they don't become endangered or worse yet extinct. That would be a really sad thing if that were to happen. So you can come back here to Polar Bear Plunge later on, see what the bears might be up to. You just never know. Uh, there's other animals back in this two-acre area, such as ponds and diving ducks, palaces, cats, with lesser red pandas, and some reindeer, just to name a few of them that are back this way. So there's a very sleepy polar bear just kind of snoozing away here this afternoon. There you go. All righty, up the hill. continue up the hill, you're going to go to several small exhibits down to our right. First one I want to point out, the Calamian deer. Actually see the male lying down on the left uh, underneath the overhang, just growing his new set of antlers, all covered in velvet right now. Antlers are actually a fast-growing bone, the fastest-growing bone that we know of. You grow an inch a day, as a matter of fact. You can almost wow. watch those antlers grow right before your eyes. That happens every single year. We've got cake blue dikers and red flag dikers next door. Want to look in amongst the grasses and such for those little bitty antelope. Full grown at 12 to 18 inches tall and 20 to 30 pounds. Then our Chico and Peccaries from the Grand Chaco region of South America. Little tiny pig like animals. And they can look much larger than what they first appear because their bristly coats will stand straight out on hand, making them look, look much larger, much more intimidating to any potential predators such as a jaguar. And crossing right underneath Sky Bari. This is uh, west side open until 4.30. So if you want to ride on Sky Bar, you either have to be on before 4.15 up front or before 4.30 back here to make sure that you get a ride in one direction or the other. And on our right, uh, on the opposite side of the tree, our big male, Szechuan Taka, just kind of being real lazy there this afternoon. A female, a juvenile, a couple of youngsters up under the overhang. The littlest ones were born last August. Very cute when they're first born. They're just little tiny buzz balls, about 45 to 55 pounds in size. And uh, they grow very, very quickly. Szechuan Taka are related to the muskox, found in the mountains of central China at elevations of 5,000 to 12,000 feet up, actually. 
Now these animals share the habitat with the rare endangered uh, golden monkeys and giant pandas. These guys benefit from that because they live in the same habitat. So the Tonkin are what we call okay, an umbrella species. See, I'll in see other words, they are sheltered or protected just okay. like those other animals just by the fact that they live in that same area. So that works to their advantage. These animals are also considered to be one of China's national treasures. Right on our left, opposite the Tonkin, express stop number three, closest express stop to the polar bears and Sky Bar. If you look over to your right, you're going to see a couple of big birds with their backs to us, the marabou stork. Females over on the right, the male right under the overhang. And those marabou stork are pretty good sized birds. They're about four feet tall. They feed mostly on carrion or dead animals. And one of nature's garbage collectors, Remember that which is word, a very Lily? important carrion? job, really. Somewhere dead right animals? Sure they have that you need a the marabou stork or vice versa. Yeah, you, you did, that, with the Tasmanian devil. Animals. Medium size, about three feet tall, the shoulders. One variety of ficus on a right. This variety of ficus is sometimes harvested and used in that cooperative browse program that I referred to earlier. And in fact, you find many, many different types of ficus around the zoo. Over on our left here, we've got uh, different birds of paradise from New Guinea. Back in the 1990s, we rescued birds and plants from uh, New Guinea, brought them back here to the zoo and the wild animal park. Every Every year, over 700 chicks of various endangered bird species are hatched out. If you also look at these last two exhibits on the right here, to the right of the Birds of Paradise, notice the one with the orange head, the yellow on the face there? That's a blithe tragopan. It's a member of the pheasant family, native to Asia, and a couple of great blue taracos back here as well. These are really spectacular birds all over the zoo. Up by the children's zoo, close to Wega Fort Bowl, our hummingbird house. Up on either side of the gorillas are great big walk through aviary scripts and Owens. Also, up there close by the gorillas, uh, some smaller aviaries with some really spectacular birds from Australasia up there. What? Uh, a couple of southern bush pigs over on our right, as well as the forest buffalo. We had a litter of southern bush pigs born last year. There's a couple of the youngsters right, tussling about year, right over there in front of that log. They're that's, very that's funny the looking. They have a mane that stands up between their shoulders, runs all the way down to their forehead or from their forehead back to their shoulders. However, you want to look at that. When those little when were born, they followed the forest buffalo around. Yeah, they didn't follow mama pig, they followed the buffalo. Go figure. Over here on our left, some little cattle-like animals. These are the lowland anoa. And believe it or not, they're the smallest of the cattle-like animals from Asia. Uh, these animals are also one of the many endangered species that you'll come across today. Endangered animals are really any animal that there's so few of, they can disappear from our planet 15 years or less without the help of a conservation or breeding program of some sort. That's what we're all about here at the zoo. Conservation, reproduction for endangered species, education, and recreation. And we also have CRESS, our Center for Conservation and Research for Endangered Species. And actually uh, keep a frozen zoo on hand, operate a computerized database, do all kinds of uh, cutting edge technology to ensure the survival of basically any of the animals you see here today and lots of others besides that. These animals to our right look like big deer, aren't they? Well, they're, they are. They're whoopity elk. They're, they're actually considered the rarest deer in the family because deer, elk, really all part of the same family. Over on our left, a little sweet gazelle from wow. Northeast Africa. Very delicately built, a little one, a little bit further back, just a couple of months old there. And over on our right, these the are baby the scimitar horned oryx. Now the scimitar horned oryx are no longer found out in the wild. Nope, they're only in captive breeding programs like the one we have here at the Zoo and Wild Animal Park. In fact, the zoo and park have been responsible for over 500 of these animals being born since the mid, early mid 1980s. Uh, they were once found up in the northern regions of Africa, desert dwellers capable of going weeks or even months without any water. Next door to the Oryx, we've got the Grevy Zebra. Actually, see a couple of them back here getting a drink at the moment. Give you the best view you'll ever get of a couple of zebras. <laughs> that's true. That's their identifying feature. Aren't you glad that's not your best side? Yes. Think about that view on your driver's license photo. <laughs> yeah, that'll scare you. Nothing else, yeah. Now, this is the most critically animal sale. We actually raise funds here on a weekend uh, fundraiser project. Silver's the one walking away from us here. These are Maasai giraffes from the Maasai Plains of Africa. If you look at their spots, they're very rough, uneven. 
from kind of a like a leaf, don't they? Yeah, the reticulated Bringo dress have a very square box-like pattern to their spots. Actually, reticulated yeah. net like. Let's see. Yeah, and so you can tell one type of giraffe from she's another and find a spot. Can you tell one giraffe from another uh, by the spots on their neck as well? So each has their own unique characteristics. Magnificent animals, giraffes are built for browsing way up in the trees. The branches that they're nibbling on the warts uh, protects these cats from the cold temperatures up at those elevations. Snow leopards. Hey guys, welcome to Snowy Snowy. It is February 20 something. Michelle looking sweet in a unisuit. My Wagner unisuit. Unisuit, very glam. Mr. Fitz, say hello. Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> Can everyone smile at me for one second? Smile everyone. Hi guys. Lily, you want to get in there? The Behind Macy though, because yeah, there we go. Or next to yeah, her. Oh, that's a good one. Two. Woohoo! Thank you. Awesome. There's Lil. Hey Lil. Hi. Look, smile. Smile, Chloe. I know that yell. I know that yell. Don't no running, no running, no running. Walking only, buddy. Yeah, sweetie. I'm making the nice and runny. Let me get working. Chloe. That can't be for me, can it? Oh no. Oh! 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 Closer! <laughs> throw it in the air above your head so we can see it on the film. Oh, I made you throw it on yourself! <laughs> Winter Wonderland, here we go! Whoa. Hey, honey! Woo! Come here, Sid. You look at it, it's like the perfect snowball. Hi, say hi, Lil. Show the camera, Daddy. Show Daddy. Hi, all mom. All the cubs They're are perfect. It's not working. Yeah, it's not working for some reason. Some weird shit's on. I'll go here. Hold on. Let me see. Let me see the settings. Here, it's better now. Oh, it's not on auto. Hold on. It's better now. Is it on auto? No. My hands are freezing. Keep going, keep going.
Very nice. Here they come. There they are. Good looking turns, ladies. There's Lily, oh! Straighten them out. Hockey stop. Hockey stop. Hockey stop right there. Nice. Daddy, you're supposed to be already down there on a chairlift waiting for us at the top. Lily, good job. Good job, Chloe. There you go, nice little, nice turns. Good job, Lil. Thank you. 
Beautiful day. Chop chair eight. Waiting for the ladies to appear. Snowed 16 inches yesterday. And look at the sky. Not a cloud. Okay, a few. But still sweet. There they come. There they are. Hi, girls. <laughs> Hold on, let me take a picture. Oh, this is a beautiful spot right here for a picture, Bob. <laughs> he didn't get very far. Right here. Because it goes all the way down. No, not well, careful. Good one, smile, wave. <laughs> Good one. Good one. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> That hurt? <laughs> a little bumpy. <laughs> Whoa! She got good air on that one. Go. Snowman. Michelle, doing a little finishing out some inventory. Final snow cone of the trip. Whoops. Oops. What is they all factory? And then we could use them. Thank you. Where did it go? Are we in the right area? And then let's see. All right, let's go see what else. Mommy, I need you to help me make a bed. Okay, you just roll it. Make a good bed. Wait, don't forget this one over there. Oh, Lily's. I'm gonna tape hers in a second. She's making a bed. Oh, wait, there's. Wow. Did I miss? I think I missed one over here. Can you miss these? If I can. If it can. All right. Are we missing another? Did I miss? Ooh, watch this. Is a missed one over here. <laughs> oh, well, let me see. Oh, All right, did your bed get made, Lily? Yeah. Well, that's perfect. Yeah. Here, just a second. I don't think we really need to do that. Can I tape this? Yeah. No, 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 no. What if you just maybe put this one? Lily. Um, 
I think I'm okay without that. What if we just take it so we can get to the ladder? I like it like that. Like that. But then it's gonna get out. Okay, Lil, you ready? I don't think I No, no, I'm not doing it. Lil, we gotta finish not it. Even Why don't we just say it's in progress? Okay. Can't be obnoxious or we don't do it. Mommy, look yeah. It sounds like this. I wasn't recording. That whole time. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, we have to do this all over again. We thought we were recording and we weren't. What a mess. Look at this. Toilet paper everywhere. Everywhere. Look at this chair. Oh my goodness. Yeah, did you check the traps? Well, this oh, one, they took the paper the money the house. And they took the naked lady. The things over here. No, oh, they took your house. money, Macy. Yeah, I know. Oh, come here. And the, did you find one? What? And you picked gold. Oh, I thought it was your... Oh. Oh! <laughs> Looking sharp as usual. <laughs> the restrooms are just actually where uh, the sign in was, and um, so if uh, somebody needs uh, some attention as far as where that is, ask one of the crew and they will be glad to help you. Also, if a child has to go to the bathroom, my suggestion is that an adult accompanies the child because the front doors are open and people can walk in and out of the facility. We have Tony, we have Larry, and that's the bad Larry because I've been Larry today. <laughs> and then we have the kitchen colonel, Brenda. All right, give me a
Until Overture and Burley. Go. Thank you all for coming to this Chloe Lustig's production of Moses and his Persuasions. I, Chloe Lustig, am the um, playwright and the director. So please enjoy the show. I will also be playing the narrator. <laughs> celebrating the, sorry. As you all know, we are celebrating the joyous occasion of Passover. Do you know why we have Passover? Or who started it? Well, if you don't, you will learn today. And if you do, it will be a fun review. Today, we will take you back a long time ago when the poor Israelites were slaves as the horrific Egyptians. Dear God, dear God, please help me and my fellow friends in return of need. Please help me and my fellow friends in our time of need. We have been based with the Egyptians for quite a long time now. We have been based of the Egyptians for quite a long time now. They are treating us like dirt. They are treating us like dirt. Could you please help send us to help? What are you 
you doing? <laughs> Oh, look at her play. Look. Do the line. Get the it. I did that. I did that. She's not worth it. Go. I listen here. Don't talk back to me. Lay on a foot to back with at the Egyptian place. I did action. Read your lines. Go continue. Continue cleaning that. See, look at that floor. Okay. Instant. Do that then. Instant. Okay, then um, then Grandma, can me see clean? Moses was a more fortunate Israelite. He grew up and was raised like any other Egyptian person. If you peeked into the corner of the stage during the last scene, you would see Moses astonished and amazed at how terribly his fellow people were being treated. Here, let me help you. I cannot believe how cruel that Egyptian queen treated you. In fact, I am so outraged that I am going to become your people's leader and break you away from this horrible slave. Hurry. My name is Moses. <laughs> this? Can you see please? How could you treat these Oh. <laughs> Great. Um, are my slaves? Those poor Israel. I know. They are my slaves. That. I know. They are my slaves. Like that. <laughs> they are my slaves. I think not. I think not. These people should be a Free as you are. Let my people go. Of course not. Turn around, Chloe. Oh, sorry. You better be back to the stage. <laughs> well, then I might want to warn you that I have been empowered by God. This magic that I hold will then force you to release the angry lights. Okay, action. Moses was right. He did have special towers that would help to set the Israelites free. He created many terrible plagues that would persuade the Egyptian queen to release the slaves. He turned water into blood. Water? This is blood! Nice! He nice. sent terrible bugs and pests to drive the Egyptians crazy and to destroy their crops. Get away from me! <laughs> flights without machines, carrying a total of 200,000 pounds of materials through this rugged canyon. We found our final hiker. She was off, scouring the territory, the deserted territory, with no one else around, for nature trail signs, and perhaps a chipmunk. Did you find something? I am collecting no. <laughs> my tremendously seeds. We're filming our own Survivor Man episode, Chloe. You need to look shaky and dehydrated now. Okay, I did find something. Follow me. Where? Columbus. 
We have created a small shelter to keep us warm during the cold nights in the arid desert mountain area. Can I hold your sweatshirt? What we did is we took bark from trees and huddled it up. We found a little piece of cacti and we ripped it apart, took our teeth, and shake out the stone stuff. Took the needle and a little bit together so it doesn't fall on us at night. Um, since we didn't want to sharpen out our, um, like, soften out our, um, knife, our hand knife, we kicked and we kicked the trees with rocks and threw them on so we could break the rocks down, and then we strongly ripped them up. <laughs> <laughs> you're good, you're good. For tonight's dinner. That's the dehydration getting to her. We, mud dish. We are going to now go search for be, nourishment in this cold, this. harsh deserted environment. No kicking dirt. No kicking dirt. Okay, I turned the... It's on? It's on. Armed. Armed with nothing but a debit card, we managed to forage pepperoni pizza, pasta with parmesan, and a Kobe, Kobe burger with avocado. And, and a Corona. We will need this fuel for the long road to civilization that lays ahead. And don't forget to drink. <laughs> right. Okay, now this is. We think we found half of it. Is the city of Desert Hot Springs on Highway 62? Whoa, look out. Show us out the window, please. To the city. Oh, you're going to Survival tactics, we think it's we will make it. It's so hard to slide down. I'm falling. You can see the heat exhaustion. We made it back to civilization, but the question is who's going to drive us back to home base? Yes, sure, you can give us a ride anytime. Hop in. 